Hello and welcome to the channel. Today what we're going to talk about is a brand new feature, copy and paste, which is now available in Logic App Standard. Let's go. All right, so this is long awaited. I know people have been waiting for this for quite some time. It has been in Power Automate previously and I think people have enjoyed using it over there. So it makes perfect sense for it to show up in Logic Apps as well. So this is available in standard. I, I did check out consumption, didn't see it there. I would imagine it'll make it its way there at some point, but uh, for now it is in standard. You can use it in the Azure portal or you can use it in VS Code. So whichever of those tools is your tool of choice, you should be able to find it there. And we do know that there is a limitation around scopes. That is something that uh, we do plan to address in the not so distant future, but just be aware of that. So let's go ahead, let's check it out and see this feature in action. All right, so here we are in the Azure portal. And what we see is a pretty typical workflow. We've got an approval. And this is where I find myself looking to use copy paste a fair bit is when I have an approval and I need to perform a similar action, but I need to know whether or not you know, the condition, like I need to know if it was approved and then have an email that reflects it being approved or I need to go ahead and, and send some sort of re rejection. So here we've got the happy path, right? If true, we go ahead and do a bunch of actions and then we've got send an email. What we can do here is right mouse click on the particular action that we're interested in. Then we're gonna see copy action here. What we can do is head over to the destination and when we click on the plus sign, we're going to go ahead and paste the action. So this is a little bit different than Power Automate. Power Automate has their, uh, basically it's, it's kind of like a, a connectors dialog that comes up where you go ahead and search for different connectors and then they have a, a paste action or paste tab. Uh, this is a little bit different. It's probably cleaner in my mind, but um, you know, I think mileage may vary there, but uh, I think it's pretty cool. So we can go ahead and uh, now copy and paste, make some tweaks. So here we can just say this is uh, you know a rejection and uh, we won't use that dynamic content. Um, and then we here, let's just say it's rejected. From there, we can go ahead and click save and there you have it, uh, copy, paste. So uh, definitely a step in the right direction as I mentioned before. We uh, do have some work to do around scopes, but in the meantime, this should definitely help you out. Now, if we go ahead and take a look at VS Code, so let me just bring that up. Okay, so I've just loaded up my dev box. This is a different workflow, and once again, I can just go ahead, right mouse click on a particular action, go ahead, click on copy, then click the plus sign and paste an action. In this case, I'm copying and pasting the new uh, .NET framework, uh, call a local function, uh, shameless plug on that, but uh, once again, like that's uh, you know possible to go ahead and do. Now, in case, in case you're wondering, when it comes to VS Code, obviously uh, we're about extensions, so you do want to make sure you have the latest extension. What you can do is go to your extensions and make sure you're on the Logic App standard, and you want to be looking for at least 2.72.2, and that's the version I'm running here. It's it's quite new. Uh, I think it was just out, uh, yeah, Friday, so on the 20th. So make sure you've got the latest working and uh, you should see that feature light up. So that's uh, this video and, uh, you know, hope you like it. I'm sure you will. And, uh, you know, happy copying and pasting. 